Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we continued working on our purification processes here. We were able to get uh, our, I think this is zinc, or is this nickel? I can't quite remember. Nickel! Nickel set up. So we now have nickel ore being produced and we began setting up our process to create aluminum, which is gonna require rubite and jivalite. Uh, but we were having trouble, well, yeah, we were having resource shortages across the board, in particular with titanium, which is why we were having uh, shortages of our uh, purple belts here because titanium is needed to make the belts we need titanium gear wheels we need titanium bearings to make these belts so that is kind of what was holding everything up um, I went ahead and ran the game forward a whole bunch and we should have a large supply of belts now uh, let's see in the chest we have almost 2,000 belts um, we also I also gave it time for the um, bearings to fill back up and for the plates to kind of back up the belt a little bit and they're starting to fill in to the silo, which we can't see because we don't have a radar station up there, but it should be filling in. Um, I also added in some more. Uh, I had these three crystallizers. They were making rutile for titanium um, disconnected because we weren't making enough of the sludge. But I went ahead and connected them back up and I added a little bit of um, an electrolysis facility to make... Um, slag so that I could dissolve it to make more slag slurry to feed into this system. Um, I upgraded all of these uh, filtration units to Mark IIs. So we should be actually making... It would seem more mineral sludge than we're using. So that's good. So I mean I could potentially even put like another filtrate or another crystallizer on here, but... Um, for now, it should be okay. So we do we basically are getting a little bit more rutile uh, moving through the system than we were before, but it's still very little, and so it's going to take some time for that to build up. I'm going to keep running the game forward in between episodes to kind of let that all build up. But what we need to do right now is we need to go ahead and get this thing all hooked up and running so that we can get aluminum more and then move on to the next thing. Which I think is going to be zinc, which has the same process here. And then we'll be getting to titanium ore, which uses the um, crystals instead of the chunks. So it's going to have a whole different system we're going to have to set up. All right. So, let's go ahead and get to it. We need to bring in rubite and jivalite, which we have a line of rubite here, which we're going to go ahead and bring on through. go and then we're gonna bring in jivalite which I don't think I have a jivalite line heading in that direction no I have a jivalite line heading in this direction but not in that direction okay so should be fairly straightforward
Guess we'll just mirror the, uh, the rubite line here. Okay, so we then need to hook up the stone into a line of stone, which I don't want to send it all the way in that direction. I'm not sure we're going to have the belt capacity to put any more stone on that line. So, we're going to have to do a more local dissolving system, I think. Or we'll run a third line through, which it'll start getting... Um, Really complicated. Because we've still got a lot. We still have a lot to do. So we have. Well, we have zinc that's going to need to get done, and then we're going to have titanium. Gold, cobalt, silver, and tungsten. They're all going to be part of this. So they're all going to be producing rock as well. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hook it into the system. If it looks like we're going to need to make additional, uh, we can always add it in later. And uh, we can create a, a bypass, additional capacity. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. For now, let's just get it all hooked up so that it'll work. And then once everything is running, we can then uh, cycle back and take care of it. Right now, none of these other uh, none of these other lines are running. So, and once we hook everything up to begin to fill the initial storage, everything will be running at full tilt. But eventually, not everything is going to run at full tilt all the time, right? Because we're not going to be drawing on every single ore production as fast as it can pull. At least, I don't think we're going to be. Because, you know, we're not going to be using the plates and that kind of stuff, so, you know, it, it should be okay. Alright, so, next order of business is to get some purified water over here. This is the wastewater. Actually, that will work. Bring it this way. Alright, 
So far, so good. Oh, I always forget that there's a there's an error in that blueprint. But there we go. Fix that. And now we need to deal with the byproducts, which. We can route this nitric wastewater to the other nitric wastewater plants. That could definitely work. Where's going to be the best place to bring this in? Let's see, you could probably just pipe it straight in here. So that's going to come in straight on the Jivalite line. We have to do a little bit of a jog there. Probably need to add in more of these things eventually as well. Okay. Now we need to do something about this. Floric wastewater. We have two options. One, we can purify it. It'll get us more purified water, it'll get us mineralized water, and it'll get us fluorite ore. We don't really need a fluorite ore. We're making tons of the stuff. Uh, water, I mean, the purified water is not bad. There are other ways to get it. Or what we could just do is go ahead and clarify the stuff right here. Alright, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of compromise a little bit. I'm going to store some of it. I'm going to store some of it here. We'll do an overflow valve. And then we'll drop in. Five hundred per second. These clear what a thousand every two seconds. Let's make two of them. Oh, we already had one. That's fine. There we 
There we go. So then once that reaches 80% full, then we'll start clarifying. And, um... Yeah, if it comes to a point where it looks like we actually want that wastewater, we'll have some of it stored. We can hook up to that tank and go direct it somewhere else. Alright. Now we need to deal with the geodes. I think we'll do the same thing with the geodes. Is that this is going to connect over here. Send it in that direction. To be dissolved. Now, why aren't these guys dissolving? Because our crystal slurry is maxed out. Because our crystal seedlings are maxed out. Interesting. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And now we need to deal with, I guess these are magenta geodes? Purple geodes. Close enough. And that's going to be anything that requires jivalite. What's What else is going to need jivalite here? Zinc is going to need jivalite. Silver is going to need jivalite. And tungsten is going to need jivalite. Okay. Alright, then what we'll do is we'll do jivalite dissolving up here. Or not jivalite dissolving, purple geode dissolving in this direction. Let's see, let's... Come up there. Can we get all the way there? We can. Okay, good. This is going to be a real interesting mess of belts to figure out where everything is connected and where everything is going if we need to fix anything or make any changes. All right, we're going to go with two liquefiers. It should be sufficient. Alright, so we're going to be taking... Outputs... You're going to be dissolving... Purple geodes. Mm -hmm. 
Except that, of course... Everything's going to be backed up because Crystal Slurry is backed up in the system. Oh, and you know, of course, what I forgot to do is make account for the, uh, for the belt, for the, uh, inserters. So, yeah, that's just not going to work. But that's fine. We can fix it. And... Set those guys up. Okay. I might just need to add a more tanks here. But yeah, it's not that critical at this point. Once we start putting load on the actual crystal catalysts, it'll solve that problem for us. We may need to do a little bit of uh, clarification at some point, just to kickstart the process, but otherwise we should be fine. In fact, I think we probably won't be making enough geodes to feed the whole system. I may have to actually... I think, um, add more geodes into the system using washing plants. Alright, so we now need to get, speaking of Crystal Catalyst, we need to get some Crystal Catalyst over there. Which, there it is. in. One, bring it in. There we go. And then aluminum ore. There we go. Perfect. So now we are on to zinc. And that is going to be Jivalite and Bobmonium. Using the same system we have been using. Uh, we need to get all of this stuff cleared out. Drop in the blueprint. And that is going to use up a lot of titanium, but I should have, again, 
Most of the major structures already manufactured and ready to go. Oh, again, except for the substations. Just hand make a bunch of those. We're also going to need a lot of these. So I might as well get those going as well. And I just don't have the electronics to build the rest of them. going to easily drain me of a lot of my belts. Those guys should be in there. These guys are really draining my suit power. Need new power armor. We need new power generators. But we need new science for that. Because a lot of that is going to be using science packs we just don't have. Yeah, we can get more inventory slots. Yeah, we need the high tech science packs. Oh, space science packs. Hmm. Oh, we're definitely going to need the high tech science packs. Oh, yeah, we need um, one, two, three, four, five, six silos. Those guys are waiting, I guess they're waiting for things to get removed? Yeah, they're waiting for trees to get removed. Alright, then let's, uh, let's... Oh! This is already set up for Bob Monium, so this side's gonna be Jibalite. Well, this is the way for the construction bots to uh, get finished. And we need to wait for the logistics bots to deliver all the stuff. Right down here we're gonna let our suit recharge as well well actually I might wait somewhere where none of that is gonna be in my construction range oh no it looks like they've cleared the trees so Let's go ahead and get those guys placed. There we go. And we have one more of those to place. There we go.
All right. The uh, the main construction bots can now uh, take care of the rest of that. All right. Let's just check the pollution map. Make sure we're not going to potentially be running into any issues. Doesn't look like it. Uh, how is our power situation doing? We are going to need some power. All right, then. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. All right, but I think that we're probably going to have to end the episode here. Because we just need to wait for, well, me to get the deliveries. And for the construction bots to get everything built in. Then again, what we'll do is we'll get that all set up and running and then move on to the next thing, which is then going to be titanium, which is going to necessitate building an entirely new layout. And uh, that'll be interesting. And that's probably going to be built over here. I may have to grab some landfill to bring in, so, you know, begin filling in here, because it's probably going to need to be. So I might as well go ahead and say we want to request some landfill. And let's just say let's request like 800 of the stuff. And that should start bringing that in. Eventually. All right. Well, that's it. We'll go ahead. We'll end the episode here. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.